In this video, we'll see how to use Microchips MCP328 Analog to Digital Converter with the Raspberry Pi using GPIO0 library in Python. By using three potentiometers, we'll be able to control the brightness of three LEDs. Let's see the connections for this setup. We'll be connecting three potentiometers to channel 1, channel 2, and channel 3 of the MCP3208. The MCP3208 supports up to 8 channels and its ADC resolution is 12 bits. Now let's take a look at the connections between the MCP3208 and the Raspberry Pi. The VDD and the VREF will be connected to the 3.3 volts output of the Raspberry Pi. The analog ground and the digital ground pins of the MCP328 will be connected to the ground pin of the Raspberry Pi. The clock pin will be connected to the GPIO11, the S-clock pin of the Raspberry Pi. The chip select shutdown pin will be connected to the GPIO8 pin of the Raspberry Pi. The D-out pin will be connected to the GPIO9 master in slave out pin of the Raspberry Pi. The D in pin will be connected to GPIO 10, master out slave in pin of the Raspberry Pi. And we'll be connecting three LEDs over 330 ohm current limiting resistors to the GPIO 2, 3 and 4 pins of the Raspberry Pi. By using the GPIO 0 library in Python, we will be able to read the potentiometer values through the MCP328 and use those values to light the LEDs at different levels. The values that we'll obtain from the MCP328 will be in between 0 and 1, 1 corresponding to the reference voltage value, which is 3.3 volts in our case. Now, let's connect to the Raspberry Pi and see our Python code. Now that we are connected to our Raspberry Pi, first we should make sure that SPI interface is enabled. To check that, we should write the following. sudo config, and we should go to interfacing options and to SPI and we should enable SPI interface. And now it's enabled. You can see that our Raspberry Pi is connected to our analog to digital converter. And also it has three outputs going through the LEDs over 330 ohm resistors. And by our Python code, we will be able to control the brightness of the LEDs by using these potentiometers. Now let's take a look at our code. In the code, you can see that first we are importing the PWM LED and MCP3208 from the GPIO0 library. And then we are indicating our connections, saying that red LED is connected to GPIO2, yellow LED is connected to GPIO3, blue is connected to GPIO4. And we are indicating that the potentiometer that's going to control the red LED is connected to the channel 1 of the MCP3208 yellow potentiometer to channel 2, blue potentiometer to channel 3. And in an infinite loop, we are assigning the values of these potentiometers to the values of the LEDs. So let's run the script. Now we have our potentiometers at their lowest levels. And when I turn this first potentiometer, you can see that the red LED is responding to the potentiometer. Now it's at its highest value. Now let's turn on the one that is controlling the blue LED. And then the middle potentiometer will be able to control the yellow LED. So let's set them to their maximum levels now. and we can change their levels using the potentiometers. Now let's take a look at our second example, which is going to give the outputs of these values to the screen. You can see that on the first column, we are having the values for the red LED, actually the red potentiometer, and we are having in the middle column, the potentiometers values for the yellow LED and in the final column we have the values for the blue LED. So let's try to minimize them all. For example, now they are at the minimum levels and we see three zeros after the decimal point. So when I increase the blue potentiometers, 
value you can observe it you can play with it for example let's change the one for the red led and the yellow led you can observe the values on the screen this was the end of the video i hope it's been useful for you if you have any questions or comments please write them in the comment section thank you for watching and see you in another video